cartoon characters with no aura. Okay, Damn. this is gonna be a stupid ass video, but you know what? I don't even <laughs> care at this point. I was gonna make a whole video surrounding the word that aura. Barbed wire? And it's super corny, but everybody knows that by now. The word aura has gotten completely destroyed by TikTok. But it that did, doesn't bro. keep any of these characters safe from having none of it. Today we look <laughs> at cartoon slash movie characters <laughs> with no aura. First up, we got Ice King. Oh, damn, Ice King. <laughs> As we all know, the Ice King is probably even a bigger simp. Bro only got, oh, bro almost had a wife and that's because he brainwashed her. That's been adventure time than Finn. But Ice King is just on a whole nother level of desperate. But he doesn't get the girl in the end because, well, he's old as shit. But here's the moment I would That's like true. to cite from Ice King. So there was this episode in Adventure Time where he writes a song with Marceline. Probably the most mm. horrendous episode for the Ice King character <laughs> where he was just being an absolute cringe ball the entire time they were writing the song. So he shows up to Marceline's house uninvited, invites himself in, somehow gets tied up, and then when Finn and Jake leave, he utters these words. You know, I kind of like being tied up in these cords. Oh my god, bro. Okay. Kind of freaky. Yo, I don't know how the hell I missed that. Yeah, that just went right over my head when I was a kid. And then Marcelino Nuts. just drops his ass. And then look at his face in the end. Do you think this is gonna get you the women, Ice King? At this point, no, they're trying or... harder to stay away from him. I just remember seeing this episode as a kid and just remember cringing so hard. Especially when Ice King starts singing. Yeah, he just went cardboard with that. Like, he didn't even lose any of it. It's just been lost forever. Like, throughout the whole series. Like, the minute I looked at the character Ice King, I already knew he had no aura. Like, mm -hmm. a lot of the memes showcase, like, people getting negative aura or whatever, but Ice King had none of it to begin he with. He didn't Except have any. Have Jeff from Clarence. Yeah, his head is literally a block. Now, I don't know how to describe it, but he I always kind of looked like Steve. When I watched Clarence, Jeff was always the most bitch-made character, and probably the I've most sensitive Clarence. there was in the show. When <laughs> Gilman and Mark. Jeff had a shared birthday party, this dude, Jeff, was so much like the main character for the day. He heard Gilbin's name when they were singing happy birthday like you should. Then he lost it and just crashed out and started blowing out all the candles. And then he just attacks Gilbin. Like Jeff was probably my least favorite out of the whole cat. Okay, never mind. Belson is probably worse. But look at everyone's face after Jeff did that. Not that her playing with the she's entire stressed playing with her here. Of Jeff. And it was in front of pretty much most of the classmates that go to that school. Yosemite Sam. Now, I remember watching Oof. reruns of Looney Tunes Yikes. when I was a kid, and holy shit, this guy was literally like, what did he say, like 19 inches tall? He would always utter those words too, which won't even make you any more threatening, so I don't even <laughs> know why he says that. Like, he could say like he's 21 inches. At least say you're over goddamn two feet at that point. Like, if Yosemite Sam were to spawn in to real life, and he were to threaten you, Kick would you nigga. feel threatened? No. Absolutely nobody would. You would Not squish him and he's dead. And then he would say these random ass phrases that just made no sense at all. So Yosemite Sam, it's just not landing at all. The threat level's still at zero. The insults probably made it even lower. Next, we have Vector from Despicable Me. <laughs> Fuck, nah, bro. This is, this is the definition of no aura whatsoever, bro. When he was sitting with Gru in that big ass red room where he was applying to be a villain or something, I already knew this yeah. guy was a cornball. The minute I saw his character. Gru wanted nothing to do with you, low bro. And he was over here like, I'm applying to be a new villain. The names. Vector. Vector. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No one wants yeah, to nah, that's... And no one cares for Vector at all. And this dude is literally wearing a tracksuit. Apparently his real name is Victor, and now he wants to be referred to as Vector because Victor was his nerd name. Apparently just changing the I to the E is really gonna give Vector all this aura, apparently. <laughs> like, what's the difference between Victor and Vector? Duh. Does Victor not move with direction and magnitude? I don't know. And not only that, he's nah, just Vector one of the was so cringe, bro. He's like literally, look at this dude. His villains I've ever seen. Oh my god, he was so mean. Edna mode, bro. He looked like the male version of Edna, bro scene like how how do you even take this guy and serious? Like if it was just vector standing in the street you took away his house with all his booby traps in it or whatever you're not menacing vector it's over he would like next we have the girl know, sierra man. from total drama oh, oh my god man. this girl was obsessed with cody she knew literally every existing fact about this guy i like this she show she even knew what time of day cody takes a shower on the regular okay never mind. I, don't, I don't know if it was that bad but literally any bit of information she could get her hands on she i don't remember it, it that much it. because cody i haven't 
haven't watched it in a long time. But at all, rightfully so. Like this shit is just creepy as hell. No aura at all. That shit is in the negatives, bro. You, he, Cody's over here simping for a different girl. Like he doesn't That's even true. give a singular shit. This is literally what a Twitch simp would act like in real life. She tucked That's a fa in Wait, a I, he's, I just realized he's saying the S word, bro. Oh my god, I hope I don't get banned. Cody in her bed. Ugh. Next, we got to talk about Jesse <laughs> and James. Now it's not their person. <laughs> <laughs> nah, don't even do them like that. Don't even do them like that, bro. They 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 low key. Team Rockets blast it off again, bro. They low key had aura until those moments. I'm not gonna lie, Jesse James. <laughs> Sona per se that's like super corny they just suck their power level get is ready for trouble zero, and make it double power level would go up if they got some better nah, bro they had aura they, they had some aura Fett and like wheezing meowth like, bro, had no Pokemon aura bro suck. i mean no wonder why they're going for ash's pikachu like it makes sense now because i guess they just suck so bad at catching the pokemon in the pokeball <laughs> and when they showed up in the show it wasn't even a threat anymore it was just a joke the whole game they had aura Team because Rocket of it they would get blasted off and every episode by pikachu's thunderbolt Blast next we have banana again. joe now banana joe whew, he just got caught lacking. is that the gumball i'm not gonna hold you there was an episode banana? where banana yeah. joe got caught lacking and the dirty joke was there was like a box of tissue next to next to his laptop <laughs> yeah that shit was super no way they put that i've never seen that before embarrassing that's nuts to put that in a kid's show <laughs> <laughs> watching somebody peel a banana as a banana is an innuendo and watching some oh man bro and it was by his dad so you can only imagine how much points were lost there and then he made this super annoying song and posted it on the internet and the contents of the song it was not a banger he literally just said banana na over and over again banana Although Gumball's in the big three of cartoons in the 2010s, and it was in the big three because Banana Joe wasn't one of the main characters, and his mom creeped me the hell out. Oh Greg my. Greg Heffley. Pathetic. Greg. 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 Pathetic. You know what, hell, might as well throw all the Hefleys in there, aside from Roderick. But Greg and Manny have gotta be the worst. For starters, look at Manny. Bro is literally built like a mole rat. And in the book Cabin Fever, he shut off the Hefley power because no one taught him how to tie his shoes. You're not the main character, low bro. Literally just harness your inner Cocoa Melon, baby, and look up a tutorial. But the <laughs> cheese touch scene for cheese Greg, touch. no one wanted to interact with this dude ever. And even before the cheese touch, the cheese touch scene was literally just a humiliation ritual to send it off and not only that he would always do these cornball ass things in class like he stuck two beakers in his nose and he went up to this girl and he said look at me <laughs> greg greg goddamn heffley i said the same thing greg bro okay, like what are you doing word, bro it was corny it was ruined by tiktok but i'd rather say that than swag in 2024 but greg heffley you really thought that this was gonna make a girl laugh like, look at his stupid face. Like, this is what happens. This is the face of a man that gets into cornball activity. Like, this is some shit, like, your uncle would do to make you laugh as a baby. But apparently, Greg Heffley's gonna get all the girls with this. I just gotta stop hating. Next, we have Eleven from Stranger Things. Now, in season four, she starts to embarrass herself so much. Y'all, we just watched a video about, like, the worst aura losses. <laughs> and it was one with Eleven where she said... <laughs> And then she did that scream shit. Yeah, bro. I wouldn't say she had no aura, but she definitely lost a lot of aura from that that season alone, bro. At the skate park. Then it was at the school. She was trying to prove a school bully oh, wrong God. or something. Trying to fight her or some shit. Angela! And she screamed like, Wah! And then nothing happened. Imagine how embarrassing that is. Like, I don't know. Like, I was physically cringing when watching scenes like that from Eleven in season four. It was yeah, actually so season bad. Yeah, season four was Next a bad season Robin, for her, man. Specifically, Robin from Teen Titans Go. Now, Robin from Teen <laughs> Titans... <laughs> because, okay, I'm glad he said Teen Titans Go because Robin as a character is not bad, bro. It's he had aura. But in Teen Titans Go, he lost all of it. I don't know what the reboot did to Robin, but they did him dirty. They just made everyone else <laughs> Normal stupid, Teen Titans was fire, dumb, but Go was Raven. so but bad. Robin had to be the worst because this dude 
turned into a cat. Put on a whole cat suit for Starfire. Like, bro, look at this dude. Like, you can't say this is Aura. He even meowed and all. Robin from Teen Titans would be so disappointed. That Robin I was you. nuts. This dude was so spoiled and bald. It was crazy. He was just a spoiled bitch. No one liked him at all. And they brought his ass back on Peacock. Do you think I'm happy about that? No. Nope. Hell no. <laughs> the world did not need to see more of the spoiled brat. You cannot tell me a little Timmy scrolling on Peacock. They're gonna stop you. Like, wait, hold up. Look at that. So much aura. And they're gonna click and watch. Absolutely not. This shit should have <laughs> stayed on PBS Kids only. Actually. Then you got Bling Bling Boy or you. Oh my gosh! Not from Johnny Test! Bro, bro, when I see Bling Bling Boy, the number one thing I, I remember is this nigga got like a pill thrown at him and he said, A lozenge? I hate lozenges! And then, bro, <laughs> Eugene. Or a loss is nuts. Like, look at this fit. Just examine. Examine the that fit. That man this never fit had so any it's, drip, It's like bro. comparable to Vector's fit, but it, it's got more diamonds on it. It's more expensive. And that money. It's not from him. It's from his parents. So Bling that Bling boy, boy never had ahead drip. and spent his parents' money on a goofy-ass fit. Somehow managed to be goofier than Vector's fit. And then try to pull Johnny Test sisters. Like, it's not gonna happen if you're dressed like this. Like, they care about goddamn Gil, not you. Like, he got the Bonk Choi head from PVZ2. Along with the Lil Huddy middle part. This is a crazy build for a cartoon character. I'm not gonna lie. It is. They probably just made him ugly on purpose, so we would all hate him. And then he literally asked to marry Super. Susan Test and offered up one of his diamond teeth. So yeah, says a lot about the character. No of aura. Boy. He'll literally do anything. Annoying orange. Lozenge. Bro thinks he's so funny. But he literally just annoyed everybody around him. Like, hell, his name is Annoying Orange. His whole existence is to be annoying. Do you think that would translate to aura? aura. Absolutely not. And then he had the goofiest <laughs> laugh of all time. <laughs> like, I, I don't think this orange ever shuts up. Like, ever. But yeah, I don't know how to truly define quote-unquote aura. But it is most definitely not defined by these characters. I know it's not the greatest word selection, but I really don't know how else to describe it. And plus, it makes a great title. And you know what else makes a great video? A video about all the dumbest fa- Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Take the forbidden pants off of dumbest fashion trends, nigga. Take the forbidden pants <laughs> Off of the dumbest fashion trends, bruh. That had niggas in a chokehold. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm fucking with that video, bro. But yeah, bro, them, them niggas had no aura for real, bro.